The virtual conversation on immigration and mobility in the Africa-Euro partnership brought together a number of leaders, including President Paul Kagame, Greek Prime Minister Kaliakos Mitsotakis and others that include Mo Ibrahim to address the ongoing immigration crisis affecting both continents. President Paul Kagame first outlined some of the reasons for the immigration crisis and expressed his views on the issue. Different reasons. Some of them justified, others not. But they are either political, economic, security, all that uh, wrapped up on matters of governance. In fact, if uh, Africans, first of all, would be comfortable staying at home in their own countries, and at the same time allowed to move from one country to another, then some of these problems would be reduced to the most minimum. But the terms of the debate are broken. Dangerous journeys continue to cause loss of life and empower criminal networks. We need new thinking and actually action to give us the results we want. To make progress, we must correctly diagnose the root cause of migration. President Paul Kagame says resolving the migration crisis is to ensure that all citizens have access to basic amenities that help them to thrive and build better lives where they are. The head of state also stressed the importance of cooperation between two continents in resolving the issue of migrants, citing the example of some of Rwanda's achievements in the collaboration with partners which have delivered productive results. Multi-year partnerships between Africa and Europe can help address the migration challenge both in humanitarian terms and more broadly. One example is the emergency transit mechanism established in Rwanda in 2018. In fact, the discussion started and the offer started in 2018. In partnership with the African Union and UNHCR to receive vulnerable migrants needing evacuation from Libya. Partners in Europe have supported this initiative as well. More than 650 migrants have been welcomed and protected at this facility while awaiting resettlement processing. More comprehensive forms of migration cooperation are also under discussion with some other countries. However, policies focused on detention, deportation, and deterrence have not been effective and will not provide a lasting solution. Therefore, we have to be thinking and acting differently. Other commentators at the meeting, including the Greek Prime Minister Kaliakos Mitsotakis, Mo Ibrahim, and other European and African leaders, agreed that the migration issue was relevant to each side and that special cooperation was needed. A study by the United Nations High Commissioner for Refugees, UNHCR, found that over 31 million Africans live outside their country of birth, the majority within the African continent. Statistics further show that the majority of migration is intra-regional or intra-Africa, especially in West and Southern Africa, and about 25% of African migrants go to Europe. Reporting for RTV News, Ethan Tashabia.